Who's driving this car? It's you. So who's driving it now when you have left me? Yeah, I just left it. You just left it? Yeah. No one must tell you about driving because otherwise something wrong can happen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was seeing that something like that, and like an accident can happen. It was like there are people that are not happy. Yeah. But God will save you. Jesus' name. Thank you, man. The life of this man. Increase me. Greetings everyone, uh, I'm Wisdom Regni, I'm coming from Zimbabwe, I came here with issues, uh, health issues, uh, and uh, financial issues also, uh, and marriage issue. So um, I had pain uh, on my back. So the pain was going through my left leg. So by that time, uh, I had an opportunity to go to a doctor. So he was not even sure about it. He kept, he, uh, he was suspecting uh, bone problems. So uh, after injections, I, I saw it coming back, but uh, I to understand this thing is spiritual because if uh, if you are praying, it's moving. So that's the reason why I came here. So I believe God uh, will solve that for me. Uh, the marriage issue now I'm 43 years old. I'm not married, so I was in. It's an issue for me. That's the reason why I came here. So I believe it will be addressed. Yes, I am struggling financially. Uh, <coughs> at home there, uh, yeah, things are not n nice there. So we passing even this era of uh, COVID. Uh, I've been struggling a lot. So. Uh, I'm praying that God will give me direction on that one. Uh, seriously, I'm like stagnant. I'm not going. I'm. Uh, it was even mentioned that I'm praying, but I'm. Not, I'm not going anywhere. So it's affecting me a lot, and uh, especially uh, health issues. I'm always in pain. I'm always in pain, and sometimes to get up to wake up in the morning is a struggle. And while we seated there before one on one, uh, Prophet Andre spoke to me about the issue of uh, forgiveness. He said I must forgive my father because of what we went through when we were growing. So uh, <coughs> I've been trying to forgive because uh, there was lo uh, a lot happened there, so that was issue that was raised there. Oh, thank you, Jesus. My uh, brother, where is your father? Pastor, he, he, he died. We need to forgive him. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. For what he has done to you, you know, this... You, 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 it's like when you grow up, you fail to be there for you. Yeah. And now this has set in your heart for a long time. You hear that? Yeah. And look what happened on his funeral. <laughs> there were a lot of problems. Problems, yeah. You know, like, because I just see people fighting them. Too much. Huh? Too much. So now, make sure that you don't follow this case. Where is your wife? Yeah, I'm not married. Make sure you don't follow this case. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Where now you fail to be... This, this one end up having children with other people. So make sure that you don't go with the case of this one. So what happened? What is happening in the church? Yeah, I'm attending. <coughs> I'm attending the uh, line of children. Mm. Yeah. For how long? Uh, just 
because uh, after COVID. After what? <laughs> after this lockdown, so COVID. After COVID? Yeah. You always started to be serious? No, before we were praying with another group. You know why I'm asking? I'm asking because of the church issues. Remember, it's true you were praying with people there. Now yeah. you're in another church. There's yeah. confusion. Yeah, I left there. There's confusion. That needs to be ironed out. You, you need to know what, where you have to go now. Yeah. Because there's been issues of the ministry here. Remember the first thing that you do. Huh? Yeah. And it's not long. Yeah. You did your first thing. You have been saying, God, what can I do for you? So I will, I will give you direction. Okay. What the prophet said. Uh, my our father was not there for us. It it is true because <coughs> uh, <coughs> I remember when we were young, uh, he like disappeared. He never took care for us. Maybe for some months we suffered. It was time of drought, but that time so we struggled a lot. And uh, to see even your mother and your siblings struggling like that, uh, especially me, I was the elder one there, so it affected me a lot. And also in the issues of education, uh, uh, it's like he, he didn't pay uh, our school fees when we, uh, we were about to finish our school. So it affected me also. So uh, I had to finish school without writing my examinations. So that's how uh, we were brought up. Even also my young brothers, they are struggling with that. Yeah. Uh, when I met Prophet Andres, uh, <coughs> Three issues were raised, the issue of marriage, the issue of finances, and the issue of health. So he said even stroke is creeping like small, small. I feel on my left side uh, there's numbness. So uh, I confirm this as true. Uh, I'm struggling a lot with those. So really was exactly one point. Mm. Uh, in short, he said you are struggling a lot with finances. So uh, I agree on that because yeah, uh, this is an issue, it's an issue for sure. Yeah, he asked me, are you married? So uh, I confirm it that I'm not married. So it's, it's another issue also. And uh, I've been trying, but it's not this like stagnation. Yes, for <coughs> all of this, he said, uh, he, he prayed for me. He prayed for me, of which uh, I believe, uh, especially in the issue uh, of finances, he said uh, something will come up. Then for tomorrow, he said uh, the man of God is going to pray for me. Yeah, I have no doubt uh, there's solution. I will go back happy at home. Right. Uh, what I can say is that uh, I'm happy also, but I, and, and also I'm free. I feel free because. Uh, this issue of health is this one that was troubling mo me most. So the fact that he prayed for me, yeah, I'm f I feel free. Let me touch your heart. Yes, so you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Today I met the Apostle uh, on one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, he, he, uh, something new came of which uh, it is the main it was the main problem 
uh, mentioned that I was there's a case, general racial case that uh, I was operating under. Yes, uh, even my grandfather, uh, my father, uh, they worked, but there was nothing. Yeah, so uh, I'm happy it was revealed and I was prayed for. Uh, I believe it is over. Yeah. So I'm here uh, uh, to start a new life now from here. Amen. Amen. So from here, I would like to say that I'm free. I believe I'm free. Amen. Yeah. He even uh, said it himself that I see, see it make, uh, me making it. So from here, I believe there'll be something tangible. Because I've been working for years, but there's nothing really. Yeah. Even for marriage, I believe something will come up. Yeah. Uh, health issues, uh, I think it's one of those, uh, the, the, the case that I was operating under, it is causing, it was causing uh, uh, illnesses in my body. So I believe it is over also. Amen. Yeah, I would say uh, if you can't carry it, uh, don't hang yourself. This is the place to come. Yeah, this is a place of solution.